How's it going guys, Josh here aka Olufemi and in this video we're going to be talking about something called a track mat transition and I'm going to actually give you 10 free transitions that you can actually download in the link below. Guys I want to take a quick break and talk about my channel sponsor Envato Elements. It's something that I of course call the Netflix of video production. What you're able to do is for only 33 bucks a month you're able to get over 600,000 different effects packs whether it be transition packs, VFX packs, lower third packs, literally anything you can think of in the world of digital products for video production is there. Make sure to check it out and tell me what you think. When you're using the Premiere Effect track mat key, what you're essentially doing is you're transferring the transparency information from one clip and you're applying it to another clip. For example, say I have one clip of a performer and then I have another clip of a moving white shape. The layer with the shape is transparent here and I wanna move that transparency to the clip here. Everything within the area of the white shape is left alone in the clip. And now we're going to add a new clip to the mix. We're going to start out with this new clip and we're going to quickly transition to the original clip by using the track matte key premiere effect. That's going to be using the white shape above it to work. So stick with me now. As more of the white shape covers the original clip, more of it is actually going to be revealed. This therefore covers the new clip that's underneath it. So this is how it's done. First arrange all the clips like so. The first clip put on video track one and the second clip put on video track two. Then put the moving shape on top of the second clip in video track three. The moving shapes by the way can be made right in Premiere by animating a mask on a solid using keyframes. So I'm in Premiere and I'm gonna go to the effects panel. I'm gonna go to the track mat key effect and I'm gonna drag it onto the clip in video track two. Once you've applied this effect, select the clip and then open up the effects control panel. Here you're going to find all of the track matte key properties. Now you're going to select video track 3 as the matte layer and then you're going to see this effect take place. Next I added a directional blur to the shape layer to hide the shape edges. Adjust the blur amount to your liking. One last thing I did was I added an adjustment layer over the length of the transition and I added the lens distortion effect to it and again adjust the level of distortion to your liking. Now check this effect out. So I have 10 of these track mat transitions available for free via my website luxuryleaks.com. You can download them via the link below. All you gotta do is open up the project file and replace my footage with your footage. Make sure to maintain the same amount of footage overlap between the first and the second clip. And then remember to always re-add the track mat key effect to the second clip on top. Thanks so much for watching guys and remember to keep it chill.